Today we're talking five whiskey brands I think you need to keep an eye on. Let's talk about those today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Let's do this. I've been feeling myself, I've been trying to keep it all on track. I can tell you took your time, I've been thumbing through your ground like that. Bring my energy back, or you something like the sunlight. Girl, you something like the sunshine. First out of the gate, Ben Holiday. So this is a company that over the past year, maybe year and a half, has really started to gain some really nice traction and rightfully so. So this just happens to be their, their bottled and bond. They've got a soft red wheat. They have a, a Rick House proof or a Rick House uh, cast strength bourbon. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Really everything in my opinion that they're doing, they're doing it the right way. They're, they're very transparent in what they do. They've got kind of a cool uh, system where on the side of the bottle, they will introduce the, the whiskey and where it's coming from within the Rick House. But overall, a bourbon that is coming out of the state of Missouri, how they've really been able to kind of dive into the market and, and really produce an absolutely fantastic bourbon is is really nice to see and if for some reason ben holiday is either something that you've not heard of or were a little bit curious about i would definitely try what it is that they have to offer they offer i think something for each person or each person that is within their kind of whiskey journey where something that will really kind of appeal to you. They've got their bottle and bond. They've got, again, their soft red wheat. They have their Rick House uh, cast strength bourbon. Uh, so something there for everyone. So if, if for some reason you're new or didn't know much about what it is that, that Ben Holiday or Holiday uh, Distilling Company is doing, definitely give them a try. I think you'll truly, truly enjoy what they're doing. So next up for me is, again, a whiskey company that is local to me here in Wisconsin. That's Driftless Glen. And I've been kind of banging the drum for what it is that they've been doing now the past couple of years. The whiskeys over the last couple of years have, in my opinion, significantly gotten better. Uh, I know better is a, a subjective term, but the ages have really started to now translate over to the style of whiskey that I think a lot of whiskey enthusiasts will truly enjoy. And that flavor profile is incredible in both their, their bourbons and their ryes. What they're doing is 100% worth your investment, in, in my opinion. And if, again, Driftless Glen is something that's new to you, you don't know much about it, or you see it locally in your market, definitely give them a try. They have a lot of different kind of uh, ranges, anywhere from that 96 proof all the way up to kind of some of their barrel proof stuff, you know, into the mid 120s. There's something there for that whiskey enthusiast that will probably pique your interest and, and hopefully bringing you back to the brand a little bit more. So again, for me, uh, another brand that I think you need to kind of pay a little bit more attention to is Driftless Glen out of the state of Wisconsin. Let's talk a little bit about Hard Truth. Hard Truth is a distillery in the state of Indiana. They are 100% making their own whiskey. They are not sourcing. And what that has kind of translated into this product and what Brian Smith and his team are, are doing is, is short of incredible. And if you're a little unfamiliar or not uh, fully aware of what it is that Hard Truth is, if you're able to find them, whether it's local to your market or through online distribution, I would highly encourage you to try what it is that Hard Truth is doing. They are taking no shortcuts. Their sweet mash process is translated into an incredible flavor profile within their whiskeys. And it's just something that you need to, to try. And I would, again, highly encourage you to find something from hard truth, I think there's going to be something within their lineup that will appeal to you and want you coming back for more. So uh, again, hard truth out of the state of Indiana. 
All right, so let's head a little west. We're going to Colorado Springs, Colorado, and a newish to a lot of us uh, whiskey company, Art of the Spirits. Uh, what Richard and his team are doing there is, again, short of incredible. They are doing some absolutely fantastic things. They're experimenting with a lot of different things, and it's translating very, very well uh, over to high quality whiskey. So, uh, you know, here we've got a rye that was aged in uh, bourbon barrels. Uh, we've got a double oak uh, that they've done, a lot of other things. So they are doing some absolutely incredible things. Uh, they are sourcing some, some whiskeys from different places, uh, doing some kind of different finishes, blends, things along those lines. But what I've been kind of exposed to with, with what it is that, that Art of the Spirits is doing has been something that really piqued my interest and something that I really truly enjoy. And I thought that a lot of other people who may not know this brand would truly enjoy. Now, it may be local to the Colorado area, but you're gonna start to find them a little bit more through online distribution. So it will allow you to have a little bit more access to what it is they're doing. But if you do see it or you're online and there's something that kind of piques your interest, I would encourage you, try it. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised and probably wanting to go back for, for more of what it is that they're doing. So make sure you check out, if you see it, Art of the Spirits, again, out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. We're going north of the border this time. Uh, this is Found North. Uh, what it is that Nick and his brother have done with this brand, in my opinion, is absolutely incredible. They are sourcing whiskeys from Canada and working their magic through different blends. And, and what you kind of see here in front of you is a small example of some of the incredibly high quality whiskey that is coming out of Canada, but being blended here to create a absolutely fantastic, incredible profile that a lot of us whiskey enthusiasts will really enjoy. And again, if Found North is something that you're not overly familiar with or was something that you've heard a little bit about, I would highly encourage you to go to their website, see what they have available. You might also find some through uh, online uh, retailers, things along those lines. But again, like what they've done with some of their, their newer releases, for me, it just keeps getting better as difficult as that is for a whiskey blender to do you know like when you started with the 6s the second summit um or their second summit here and their batch seven here some of their kind of single barrel ish type of of releases just incredible incredible whiskey it's hard to necessarily describe the richness and complexity of what that is but in my opinion of a lot of whiskeys coming from Canada. What it is that Nick and his team are doing there with this whiskey is absolutely incredible. I would highly encourage you to uh, find something from them. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed uh, at all with, with what it is that, that Nick and his team at Found North are doing. So there you have it. There are a handful of new brands that I think you need to keep your eye out for if you see them, give it a try. I think you're gonna really enjoy what all of these different whiskeys have to offer. High quality, just overall high quality whiskeys. A lot of people I think may not be overly aware of quite yet. Some are on the radar, some may be a little higher on the radar, but overall these whiskey brands, in my opinion, are something that we all need to probably focus a little bit more on pay a little more attention to dive into what it is that they're doing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I wanted to provide a little more information on a handful of brands that if for some reason you have overlooked some of these for whatever reason, or you didn't know much about them, here was a little info and my opinion on a few brands that I think you need to really strongly consider next time you're making a whiskey purchase. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel and or become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, 
make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. So guys, thank you so much. Remember, it's about the journey, not the destination. Find, find, find these brands. Cheers. So let's wrap it up with a final brand, and that's Backbone. Backbone Bourbon Company, for me, is kind of one of these brands that flies under the radar. Now they do a lot of sourcing, but the blends they put together, and even really just their straight bourbons, straight rye whiskeys that they have, are incredible in their own right. And I think Backbone is just one of those companies that needs a little bit more respect. I think people need to pay a little bit more attention to what it is they're doing and some of the high quality whiskeys that they have, some of the high quality blends that they're putting together really just continues to fly under the radar. And again, it's great bourbon, great rise. If it's a brand that you're, again, you see on the shelves or a little unfamiliar with, but you are just kind of curious, I'd say give one of their bourbons rise, give them a try. I think ultimately, it's going to be something that you'll appreciate and enjoy and probably have you going back for more. So if you are, again, like I mentioned before, a little unfamiliar with what it is that Backbone is doing, they are a sourcing company, but putting together not only just great uh, bourbons and rye, great blends, definitely give Backbone a try. I think you'll really, truly enjoy what it is they're doing. Give to me, uh, yeah, yeah. It's the